The ten energy centers of the grid of life design are linked together through pathways, or we could also call them energy channels. There are exactly three horizontal pathways, just as there are three anchor points for the astral body. Seven vertical pathways, just as there are seven anchor points for the etheric life body. And twelve diagonal pathways, just as there are twelve anchor points for the physical body. This brings us now to completing the work we began in our earlier episodes of constructing the grid of life design in our own energy field. First, close your eyes for just a moment and use the energy field awareness practice we discussed in earlier episodes to simply tune in to the feeling of energy in and around your body and to become aware of what your current level of consciousness is, what thoughts and emotions you currently have. This will provide a baseline so that you can clearly observe changes after you perform the practice which we are about to do. You can now open your eyes and we will do the practice together. Previously, we constructed the first eight centers of this powerful initiation pattern and the pathways connecting them into an active net or matrix. We will now activate the final two centers and build the last energy pathways which complete the grid of life design in our energy field. The pattern which can transform our consciousness and energy not only in our current lifetime, but into all of our future spiritual destiny as we described previously. Begin by becoming aware of the centers and pathways you have already constructed in your energy body in the previous episodes. Become aware of the middle pillar centers, the center above your head and the heart center. Connect these two centers together with a line of light. Now become aware of the right side pillar centers, the center above the right shoulder, the center in the upper right chest, and the center in the liver. Connect these three centers together with a line of light. Now become aware of the left side pillar centers, the center above the left shoulder, the center in the upper left chest, and the center in the spleen. Connect these three centers together with a line of light. Connect together the center above the head and the two centers above the shoulders into a triangle of golden light surrounding your head. Then connect in lines of light the two centers above your shoulders to the heart center in another triangle of light. Then connect the two centers in your upper lungs to the heart center in another triangle of light. Then connect the two centers at your liver and spleen to the heart center in another triangle of light. Now we will add in the remaining section of the grid of life design. Both of the remaining centers are on the middle pillar. These centers ground the gold pattern into our lower body and thus into the earth itself to complete the process of our full physical incarnation into the body. Become aware of the energy you feel at your solar plexus, not just in the front of the body, but in the center of your body also. Use the zero-point centering practice we described in previous episodes to move all of your energy and awareness into the center of the center of the center of the solar plexus until you make contact with the divine absolute center of the solar plexus. As you touch that divine center of the solar plexus, then use the radiance technique that we explored previously to allow the activated center of the solar plexus to radiate out energy in all directions into a spherical sun of light and warmth. 